Hi, I'm Mike Maselli. I train uh, racehorses at Aqueduct, Belmont, and Saratoga. I operate a public racing stable, and I've been in racing for about 50 years. And prior to training horses, I was also involved as a jockey for 22 years. So first started the jockey career, and then on to the training career now. I first got involved in horse racing when I was 16 years old. I went out to the track uh, on the weekend with my uncle who worked at the track and as soon as I saw the race horses I fell in love and that's where I remained for the next two years. I didn't go back to school and started uh, walking horses and galloping horses and went through the whole procedure from the ground up. A lot of people through the years have asked me which end of the business that I enjoy most, being a, a jockey or being a trainer. And I can honestly say I, I loved both. Being a jockey uh, kind of gave me the competitive spirit. You know, you want to go out there and win as many races as you can. And that kind of followed through as a trainer. Except uh, being a trainer, you throw the jockey up and you lose control for that minute and a half you know, when the starting gate opens and, you know, then you have to rely on the jockey you're using's judgment. Hopefully he makes the right uh, call and, and uh, you know, gets a smooth trip in a race, is what you always like to see. But uh, both, both uh, ends of the business have been very satisfying to me. After I retired as a jockey, I had a decision to make. Should I become a, a trainer or should I work on the administration end uh, on the front side of the track? Uh, I got exposed to both of them and I decided uh, training horses is what I wanted to do. I've always been with the horses since I was a kid and it was kind of a natural. So once the riding career was finished, I fell into the training aspect which I enjoy very much. Sometimes I feel that uh, being retired jockey sometimes it comes in handy as a trainer because I've seen different idiosyncrasies that horses have whether they're unruly and it helps me instruct to my exercise rider what I think will work with a certain kind of horse. So that, uh, that aspect of being a jockey first did, did help me a lot. When I first started training horses, I, I had a, one or two horses that I owned myself in partnership with my brother-in-law. And then an old friend came to my rescue, uh, a fellow by the name of Tony Shimetta. He had a stable called Old Glory Stable, who I used to ride for. And he supplied me with about three or four horses to get started. And so, the three or four grew to about six, and I was on my way. Uh, we went our first race uh, at Aqueduct as a trainer, and first, you know, the winners didn't come too, too quick, but uh, after a while, you know, I got the hang of things, and uh, the winners started to come. I've had some great moments in, in the sport. Uh, first is being a jockey. I re was second in the Kentucky Derby in 1974 with a horse called Hudson County. He was a long shot and we had won the Bay Shore with him. Then he was third in the Wood Memorial and second in the Derby. That same year, I guess I was blessed to ride another good three-year-old called Holding Pattern. And with him, we won the Haskell at Monmouth Park then he won the Midsummer Derby at uh, Saratoga, the Travers, and also as a two-year-old he won the Champagne. I was I was aboard him in all those victories, and it sure felt good. Another great moment I had in horse racing as a jockey was one day at the Meadowlands. Uh, I rode a total of ten horses and won six. Uh, that was a great uh, day. Although I went home, driving home to Monmouth Park that night. I said to myself, you know, I got beat a nose on this other one, I would have had seven. So uh, I wasn't happy with the six, 
which I should have been. Uh, now looking back at it, I, I, I was very fortunate that day. As a trainer, I've won uh, quite a few stake races. I've won uh, the Gallant Fox here at Aqueduct with a horse called Tamburello, who we later sold to the uh, Saudi Arabia. And won about six or seven New York Stallion stakes. And one day, I'm still looking to try to get uh, a horse to win a grade one stake in New York here. So we'll keep, we'll keep trying until that happens, and uh, we'll see what happens.